everybody got something to say about President Barack Obama after he spoke to some black men about the significance of voting for Kamala Harris and not for the poster child of white supremacy. Obama's not shaming black people. He's not shaming black men. If anything, Obama is one of the main political supporters for black men. In fact, even after his presidency, he is still growing the My Brothers Keepers initiative. And since its opening, he has helped many young black men get to college, get jobs, and even become involved in politics themselves. So cut the cap. More than any other president, Barack Obama was hands-on with black men. In fact, just to throw out here, Barack Obama had pushed more policies directed towards the black community than most other groups. But that's another story. There's a bit of an opportunism going on, spreading around, people trying to get clout out here, trying to be seen as the real radical or the real progressive. But all they're doing is trying to find ways to make themselves look more righteous than they really are. Because at the end of the day, Barack Obama is right. It makes no sense for a black man who understands the history of the United States to be voting for Donald Trump, who is now standing on the shoulders of the Republican Party, which is the party that is carrying forward the legacy of the Confederacy. Enough said. So stop all this nonsense. If you want to vote for Donald Trump because you want to support white supremacy, then do that. If you want to vote for Donald Trump because you want to vote for misogyny, then just stand on business. Because at the end of the day, Donald Trump, throughout his life, has been known to be out for himself. Peace.